Look, I don't know who the fuck Dick Trickle is, and I don't. Look, I'm recording an, now. Old racer. If this makes the cut, it makes the fucking cut, but we'll see. <laughs> All this is coming off, though. I look fucking ridiculous right now. First, we started <laughs> off with me throwback. just trying to find a throwback jersey. Then I fucking threw the hat on for this man, and now you see what he has me dressed like? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Well, what's good, y'all? Welcome back. Um, I'm here with the homie Kyle. Say hello, That's Kyle. Start. This is the start. Yeah, this is the start. I mean, I'm gonna have like a clip okay. of earlier in here. Don't worry about it. It'll be there. All right. It's on the screen. Just read it. The 2021 Goodyear 400 at Darlington Raceway Throwback Weekend. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know how Yo, what's long good, that guys? What's good? Hold on, really think about this. What's good, y'all? Welcome back. Today we re we are reacting to the 2021 Goodyear 400 at Darlington Raceway Throwback Weekend announced paint schemes. Hey, <laughs> nigga, I almost me. lost my breath saying that. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, oh, we are here reacting to the paint schemes. Um, he, my homie here to help me, you know, get through all of this because. I didn't feel like I could do this alone, honestly. So I'm glad you're here. Thank you. I wouldn't have expected you to to know much about like the throwbacks that are happening and that too. Yeah, yeah. So. You would just be looking at him, like, "Oh, that looks cool," but what is like the significance behind it? So exactly. So today we're here. I'm gonna be reacting to them and giving my uh, uh, opinion on on which ones are my favorites out of all of them at the end of it. We'll start with the first one. Uh, this is this is Quinn Huff, Huff, Huff. What I have, however you want to say his name. Who cares? He's terrible. He's one of the worst drivers. Oh, Sorry, shit. Quinn. I know you ain't <laughs> watching, but whatever. It's fine. Dude's dude's garbage. Dude's garbage. Yo, but, to the fans out there, I guess he sucks. <laughs> he, yo, he does. Th there ain't no fans of Quinn. Him and his mom, dude. Those are the only two people. Oh, um, fuck. We, hey, so, in the comments, let me know. <laughs> everyone knows Quinn Huff sucks, dude. He causes more. He's a wreck magnet. Oh, um. Fuck. So, and he always runs in the back. So, but he is running a John Andretti um, RCA paint scheme. And the significance behind this is that um, actually John Andretti recently, well, I won't say recently, he passed away in January of 2020. And uh, he was a NASCAR driver. He comes from the, the famous Andretti family. Mm -hmm. um, so th so this is kind of a cool nod the, get, to get the, uh, the same sponsor as well. That's not always a given. Um, you'll see that in a couple other schemes. So it's always cool to get the to get the sponsor. It's a From cool the, like, car. OG, like scheme. Yeah, okay. it's a cool car, but it's gonna be in the back all day. Wow, really? Just shit it on is. Man. It okay. is. Okay. I yeah, mean, when, when terrible. Uh, you know, I think I, like through each of these, I'm gonna give these cars a rating as I go. So like this one, I give it like a, I give it like a like a like a solid four, like a four out of ten. It's all right. It's cool. All right, next car, I know. Austin okay. Dillon. Next car is Austin Dillon. Austin Dillon is throwing it back to uh, Fireball Roberts, who is a very old school NASCAR driver from back in the heyday. Someone who you, you would never know. Um, I, I really like this scheme and the fact that uh, Bass Pro being their sponsor is kind of doing their own take on it. Obviously, you know, Pontiac is not, um, which you can see in the background is on Fireball Roberts car. Pontiac is not even a thing anymore. Um, so it's cool that Bass Pro kind of threw it back to their own old paint scheme, not, not their old paint scheme, but their, their old logos and, and insignias um, along with that three looking like Fireball, Fireball Roberts 3. It's not the traditional RCR 3 that you would see like on Earnhardt's car or anything like that. So. This car looks really fucking nice too. Yes, I, I I enjoy it. Black, red, and gold, kind of a really cool. Color. Yeah, it just look, it just pops like it really just do something for me. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Well, well, give me give me a rating on it. Give me a rating. A rating? It. Yeah, give a four for Quinn Huff, which is probably fitting for him. Uh, give, me, give me Austin. Uh, see, because I don't want to I don't want to just off bat like give like some high numbers because like, I really feel like there's gonna be some like really really good ones. There's gonna be some good ones. There's some good ones. There's some clean ones. I give it, I give it like a I give it like a seven. Seven? Like a seven. All right, I'll take a seven. I'll take a seven. All right. All right. Now, now we gotta go. 
over here. Yeah, we got to go to the got added in late. Yeah, this one this one actually got announced today as we're recording this. So this got like what seven o'clock Eastern, eight o'clock Eastern oh, so on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. This, this came out. Yeah, this no, no PM. PM. Oh, this PM. came out about. Yeah, yeah. This came out about like forty-five minutes ago. Oh wow! Um, so this is fresh, fresh. Okay, well here y'all go. Fresh, fresh. So this right here is Kevin Harvick throwing it back to himself, which is you know kind of a weird thing to do. But you know when you've been in the sport as long as Kevin mm -hmm. Harvick has, you can kind of do that. Um, this is going all the way back to 2001 when he took over the famous good wrench car after Dale Earnhardt passed away. Um, this isn't the, this isn't the scheme that he ran at, uh, uh, at Atlanta. Um, that's the site of his win, uh, over Jeff Gordon a few weeks after Dale Earnhardt passed. This is the scheme that they went moving forward after that, um, that he kind of hung on to for the rest of that season. It, it's it looks cool. Um, I get the nod, but with mobile not really buying into like the good wrench, you know, you, you'll see some sometimes like Justin Allgaier in the Xfinity series. He ran a Dale Earnhardt scheme with the good wrench, uh, and they really bought into it. Good humor was the sponsor. They really bought into the way that the um, the font was. You know where where the, was the there placement. any reason why they bought into it then, but not now. It was just a, well, that was the Xfinity race that happened earlier today, actually. Oh, okay. um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Just some companies don't feel like kind of bending the rules of their, you know, if mobile's gonna be on that car, it's gonna be the mobile like logo. It's not gonna be looking like Good Wrench in any way, shape, or form. It's not gonna look like anything, you know. It's just kind of what they want to do. So where the paint. I put that in quotations because it's a wrap, but um, the way that it's set up is set up like his old school car, but you know, the fours in the same, you know, RCR font, that's about it. Yeah. And we, we were talking about, it. I was like, it just doesn't, it doesn't look as like full as it did before. Like it just, there's a lot of spacing on like the newer uh, layout for the scheme this year than in the past. So that was, that was like the only big yeah. difference that I fucking noticed. That um, would be that would be you know stuff like the uh, the the panel having you know the full like Budweiser Pole Award and Mala yeah they got like everything on there holy yeah time, times have changed a little bit since uh, you know that but Fuck. yeah I'm gonna give this one I, like I'm not gonna lie like it's just it's kind of it's kind of bland to me kind of yeah, bland plain, plain, plain Jane just it, plain it Jane so I might hit this man with a solid two or three. I, hey, you know, I get it. It's it's historic. It's iconic. It's important to Kevin Harvick. Is it plain? Yeah. Incredible. Look, and I know y'all might hate me for these ratings I'm giving, but I'm being honest. If it's not going to pop to me, it's not going to pop. So like this one, this one look kind of cool. And we finna, we finna get into this one now. <laughs> so this is Kyle Larson. Um, he's throwing back to himself. Um... It, it, it was, I believe it is his go-kart from when he was a kid. If oh, not, wow. If I, yeah. Um, he's got the HendrickCars.com uh, um, sponsorship because he's had a pretty tough time finding sponsorship since the whole iRacing thing. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm most definitely finna t like detach every driver from these cars. I'm let let me let me get that clear now too. <laughs> I'm detaching every driver from these cars. I'm talking about the cars and the cars only. All right, people. <laughs> now this car is most definitely just like the way it looks. I'm gonna give it like a five. Like it's I give it a five. Okay. Okay. It looked really good though. Like I'm fucking gotcha. with it. It looked cool. Gotcha. Okay. This so, shit so though. So yeah, this is gonna look a little weird because um, it's a mix of some things. It's it's a Marty Robbins throwback. If you you can see, kind of see his car picture picture that color scheme on that car that's in the back. I know it's black and white, um, and it's actually being sponsored by Joe Nichols and Quartz Hill Records, which is actually a uh, a well, obviously it's a record company. And Joe Nichols being a country star, um, I it use sounds the term like a country star. Yeah, yeah. I use the term star now pretty loosely because he's not really, you know, what he once was. But um, yeah, it's it's 
Marty Robbins. It's it's a throwback. Looks you know what? Looks like the car. I want your opinion cool, on but... these cars too. I want you to give them a rating as well. What would you rate oh, this one man. since you haven't done the last ones? Okay, okay. I, I'm pretty on point with with everything you said actually on the first ones. I would I would agree with everything that you said. Maybe, maybe on the uh, first one, kind of give it a you know an extra point up just based on you know who it is and you know being John Andretti. Um, pop it to a six. This one, yeah, I'd, I'd yeah, I'd pop the first one to it too. Maybe to a, a six. five. A five? Because you, you gave it a four, I'd give it a five. A five, okay. Um, this one, I like the color scheme on it. I like the old school numbers. I'm glad that they bought into the numbers. Um, I I would probably still give this one probably about a six though. The, yeah. the, 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 color, the colors the color scheme is cool. really nice. Yeah, reminds reminds me of lemonade, kind of like lemonade. That's exactly and pink what lemonade. I was thinking. I was thinking of uh, what the fuck is that shit? God damn it! Co what, country time? Nah. Uh, you, you'll see some country time schemes. There's been plenty of those. What's that fucking? What's that fucking iced tea drink at Seven Eleven? Arnold Palmer. Arnold Palmer. Yes. Oh, that's what, okay. That's the vibe it gives me. Yeah. That, that's iced tea mixed with uh with uh uh lemonade yeah that's what the, i don't know i just get that vibe okay. from this i don't know why i i, I, I can see it a little bit because because the the half iced tea you know the logo on it it's like a red and yellow so i could see it i'm yeah. gonna be so real with you i forgot what an arnold palmer can looks like so i really could have been stretching for a bit but like i no 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 no, no 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 you're good you're good you're good <laughs> Oh shit! I already <laughs> see the fucking name for the next one. This is a hot name on my channel from the jump. <laughs> so Ryan this car, Norman. look at this one a little skewed because you'll probably see it upside down instead. No, oh fuck! That's messed up. I'm sorry. no, no. It's a joke. It's a joke. We make jokes out here. Don't be butt hurt, people. This is kind of a weird scheme. This doesn't throw back to any specific driver, but. Kohler generators. It's going back to exactly what it says. 1976, the SCCA National Championship scheme. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this car. I'm going to be real. I don't know what type of rating to give it. I would give it a five. I'd say middle middle of the road. It's It, it doesn't... I like the blue and the black. Um, the yellow stripe kind of makes it pop a little bit more. Um, I don't know if the same outline of the yellow is used. It doesn't look like it's the same... It looks like an orange around the six. Yeah, orange around the six. It has kinda, like some orange highlights up top here. Yeah, on the bottom yeah. Too, yeah. Which kind of throws me off a little bit, but you know, it's it. I think it's I know what it is. All right. I think it. it's because you know. So for like most of these, like they have like cool little backgrounds. Like the, you know, this one has has this background, and this one has. This yeah. Background. I feel like it just it's like the white background just doesn't make it like. I don't know. It's not. It it's might not look better on the track. Well, I guess to me. It, it might look better on the on the track. Yeah, on the actual track. Maybe then I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll give it a. For now, I'll give it like a like a. Yeah, like a five. You said five, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll I said five. Like five. Yeah. Okay. Now hmm. this next scheme. This is Corey LaJoy's throwback to Alan Kowicki. Um, this is such a cool paint scheme, and the sheer and the sheer fact is that Xerox isn't in NASCAR anymore. They don't sponsor anybody in NASCAR anymore. Oh, that's um, dope. That's, that's so huge they thing. went out. They got the exact. This car looks identical. I mean, the, the same color scheme, the same sponsorship, the same placement of the sponsors, everything, the number. Like it's 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 great. Um, Spire Motorsports does a really good job at at throwbacks, and so to see Corey LaJoy, you know draw honor alan kawicki with almost the identical car it's it's pretty cool to see it's really really cool to see i would give this one a solid eight you, dude no cap i was gonna say the same shit i don't know why but this it's like it's simple it's not bland like hold on let me, let me just go back let's just go back and look where the fuck is it where the fuck is it i know oh wait it's over here huh yeah it's not as bland as this <laughs> but this shit is a solid hey this one this one's probably like my favorite one so far actually this okay. one and this one and this one these these first two yeah, this one uh austin yeah. dillon's and uh yeah okay okay so we can move on Hooters! to <laughs> another alan kawicki throwback which he's getting a lot of love <laughs> this weekend this is i'm biased 
And I'm going to let you know right now, I'm going to give a rating as the same number on the car. I'm giving this a nine because oh I God. absolutely love this car. <laughs> this car is a throwback to Alan Kowicki's 1992 championship, which um, the story behind that obviously is he he passed away after that. He, he never got to defend his championship. Oh, damn. Um, so he's at he won as a owner driver. Incredibly hard to do. Um and it throws back, other than the number, obviously, it throws back, I, I, it's identical. And Chase even went as far as Alan Quickie did this cool photo shoot with um, Hooters girls, you know, all around him and stuff. And he's hoisting the championship. Chase actually went and did an identical photo shoot to it. So he's bought all in oh, that's to, sick. to um, Throwback Weekend. I'm bought all in in the Throwback Weekend. I love this scheme. It, it's it, it's awesome. You know, I've seen. Obviously, I wasn't alive in '92, but I've seen you know extensive videos on that '92. Um, Wait a minute how the fu how long has Hooters been around for? Long, long time. Long. You I, I don't know exactly, but yeah, Hooters been around for a while. Hey, yo, um, look that up for me, just real quick. I'm real curious now. I have to right. know. Hooters started in 1983. 83. Yes. So the one funny thing about this is in the 92 championship, Alan Kowicki beat out Bill Elliott, which is Chase's father yeah, in, the in, in the championship. Bill Elliott driving the number nine, Alan Kowicki driving the Hooters car. It is almost like they've combined this weird Yo, legacy that's of funny. the 92 championship. And... You know, maybe, maybe you know, Bill was kind of like, mm, what, are you, what are you doing? Like he said, y'all, at the beginning, he said he's biased. He said it biased. off rip, and he said it was a nine. I'm going to tell y'all right now, he lied to y'all. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all right That's now, fine. he lied to y'all. Look, it's, I like, I've never been to Hooters, dead ass, never been in my life. Okay. That's fine. So, I'm going to give, I'm going to give it like, I don't know, just something about the orange and the brown just don't sit right with me. It's old school, man. Yeah. I don't know, though. I, I, hey, humor me, man. Flip flip the nine around give it a six. We'll call it a day. We'll call it even. You know what? You know what? We'll call it fair. I like that. Uh, I, I, I right, can do I, that. I can do that. Turn the six <laughs> upside down. It's a nine now, like Drake. Okay, on to the oh, next one. Man. All right. Are you ready for the one of the coolest, maybe the most obscure throwbacks I've seen in a while? This looks crazy. So this is a throwback to Mark Martin, um, his Bush series ride. So what what is called the Xfinity series now? It used to be called the Bush series. Um, this is a throwback to his 2000 car, which you dare I say it? It's it's fire. You did not. I'm sorry. I wish you I'm could sorry. see my fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you can see. You'll see it in the video, but you oh did not. God. Honestly, though, <laughs> it's just it's so much going on, and I don't. I kind of yeah. like it because it just it just seems like a throwback. Like that that just yeah. looks like some shit you would see back in the day. Um, I'd give this an eight. I, I love I can, how obscure it is. I can go with that too. I can give it an eight. It's really different, such, and I don't feel like there's gonna be any more cars weird like this. schemed. I don't know the, the what the the you know what the similarities are to Eric Amarola and Mark Martin, like why he chose that. But you know, it's, it's cool. I Everybody like Everybody has their reasons. <laughs> oh, I like the way they set this up. This is cool. This is yes, really nice. So, some editor got paid big bucks to make something cool like this. So, and, and my, uh, so sports, cl sport clips, haircuts, they, um, are normally the primary sponsor for Denny Hamlin when it comes to his throwbacks. Um, I think FedEx has had it a couple times, but um, they usually go all in on what's going on, which is pretty cool. Yeah, this uh, is so this is, yeah, so this will be honoring uh, Slick Johnson, who um, obviously, as it says at the bottom, he competed in NASCAR during the 1980s, but uh, I identical. I mean, you're talking yeah, almost yeah, literally. identical. Uh, e even to the point with with altering the the um, logo on the quarter panel, sponsorship on the quarter panel. Absolutely great scheme. Um, I think it's simple, but it's effective. I think um, this should you, might be a nine. Man. You you definitely 
won't miss this on like you you won't miss this on the track at all at all big big bright red you know big you know shiny white it's just super um, clean i don't know i just feel like they just did a really good job with it yeah yeah i i personally i give this a seven um a seven? I, I, I i it's it's plain but i i like it i understand it it's cool see see like i want to give it a nine but then you gave it a seven and then when i looked at it some more it but but see after you said seven I, I kept looking at it and i was like i could see it as a seven as well so i'm gonna go yeah. in the middle and give it an eight okay that's fine we'll that give it out me I, yeah, i'll meet in the middle <laughs> Oh shit! I can already tell you my shit finna be low for this one. I'm not. I'm not fucking with it. But let let's go with it. No, okay, okay. So this is Ryan Blaney's uh, throwback scheme. Um, it's actually there. There is a a like throwback like aspect to it, but it is for the Advance My Track Challenge. Um, it actually goes back to his 2010, uh, his late his uh, late series model car, which had advanced auto parts on it. Um, really cool looking. Uh, th this is for. Well, oh, so it's a throwback to himself. It, it's it's promoting small tracks, uh, like the Advance My Track Challenge is promoting like small tracks across America, and some other stuff. I forgot the exact thing on it, but um, yeah, it looks it's it's sharp, it's cool. Um, what are you giving it though? <sighs> See, I I'm know giving, you're not. You... I'm, get, I'm giving it a six. It, it doesn't doesn't do everything for me. Yeah, Kinda I don't look, know. It, it looks very 2010. It does. Yeah. It does look very 2010. I can give it that. But everyone uh, trying to do know. like the sharp angles and like all the lines and stuff. You, you saw a lot of that in like the 2010s was a, bu a bunch of lines on the side of cars. Yeah, I, I, I give it like a, I give it a five. I'll give it a five. Yeah. No, no, no. That's hey, that's you know. Yeah. That's you. <laughs> So this one's actually pretty cool. Um, if Chase Briscoe is that is that how you pronounce his last yeah, name? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How, how did you want to pronounce it? Or did you think it was going to be Briscoe? I thought it was going to be Briscoe. So I mean. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was wondering. I you was like, yeah. Is that how you pronounce no, I just, it? Like, I just did you like have to be a, making sure? Did you have another thought in mind? Briscoe. Like, Briscoe. Maybe <laughs> that could be another one, or it could be. It's not. It's it could not. be Briscoe. Nope, it's never that. Isn't. It's never gonna be that ever. <laughs> no, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Oh man, that's funny. So this is going back to um, going back to AJ Foyt, who is a very famous driver. Um, he did not spend a lot of time in NASCAR, but um, you know, definitely at impact. We're, uh, yeah, yeah. AJ Foyt, he ran USAC, he ran ARCA, the very famous, um, very famous uh, driver. Just, just as as a whole, a very famous driver. Um, yeah, he he didn't he didn't run he didn't run a lot in NASCAR, um, but it's still it's still an impact that he made. I really like the helmet. If they're doing the helmet i was gonna ask that to too AJ i was to like the these helmets look like weird as i think they are because it says it says it has his name on it so i would assume well, so. i hope so yeah, yeah i didn't know if it was just a rendering or if that's what they'll actually use that'd be cool um, if they did that means they're really going all out yeah um i like i like the throwback um i i'm not the biggest fan of the scheme obviously i like the numbers how they keep it's the same number yeah. um it's it's an easy it throwback like, yeah it looks like that's literally the same car you could do an easy throwback with the 14 to someone like you know tony stewart who obviously was in that ride before chase briscoe was or you know even clint boyer even though you're not gonna really see anything you know from that but um yeah it, it's a it's a cool it's cool i get it it doesn't really pop for me i'd give it a four give it a four honest. Yeah, I like who they're throwing it back to, but at the same time, it's yeah. I can agree with that. I was gonna give it like a four or five. Like, yeah, it's still a cool car. If anything, I'm rating the helmet like a solid seven. The helmet looks cool. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Oh, so fuck. this is James Davison's throwback to Dick Johnson, and <laughs> <laughs> you told me not to. But it's the fact that you said Dick with a like emphasis on the d <laughs> that I, got me okay go ahead <laughs> go ahead we're good dick johnson. dick johnson 
this man, <laughs> he didn't spend a lot of time in NASCAR. He, he only spent, um, I believe it was a year or two. I, I think it was 89 to 90 is, is how long he actually stayed in NASCAR. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's still, he's still a very famous driver, which you see, like, there's a lot of throwbacks that are going to just drivers as a whole. Like it's 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 kind of cool to see them expanding outside of NASCAR, even though this is a a NASCAR scheme mm-hmm. um, that they're throwing it back to. Just the fact that he didn't make his name in NASCAR. Um, this is another one that will unfortunately stay in the back because James Davison is garbage. Um, oh, we got another trash player on the on the field. Yeah, fields. yeah, yeah, kinda, one hundred percent actually. No, practice makes perfect. You'll get better. No. 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 Oh. no. Well, <laughs> hey. Um, I, I like it though. I'd get I'd give it a five. A I, five? I, I, I like it. I like the kind of I, I I don't mind the color on it. It looks old school. Not gonna lie, I was gonna give it like a like a like a maybe like a two or three. I okay. don't know. It gets it gives the old school vibe, yeah, but I don't know. It just, it just, it just I don't know. It doesn't seem like they really tried on it. Oh push. This one's garbage. M and M's just all over. This it. one's it doesn't garbage. even look it's like they really did much to it. 80, 80 year anniversary of M and M. At least when they did the 75, 75th anniversary, they ran the number seventy five, which was kind of cool. This is garbage. Same looks like a normal sky. I give it a one. I thanks give for it. Sh- thanks for showing up, Kyle Bush. Appreciate I give it a four, you. just because like I like M and M's. Chocolate is cool, you know. Yeah. But I mean, it doesn't. Yeah, it, it looks like a the, basic. They got the old school, like Eminem looking dude, the red Eminem on the back of the quarter panel. But it, you know, it's, I love could have thrown it back to an Elliot Sadler scheme. You know, some, something like that. I'd like to see something like that. I feel bad because like we're just gonna just go past it, just like everything else. Yeah, just go like, past it. You could have ran an Ernie Irvin Eminem scheme. You could have ran an Elliot Sadler Eminem scheme. Like Skittles is a part of you know the same. I, obviously, if they want to go the route of an Eminem like 80th anniversary, they could have tied that in. To, to a much cooler scheme, you yeah. know? Instead, it looks like... Yeah. This? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, But true look action it. shit looks good. I like his. No. Back-to-back bad schemes. What do you mean back-to-back bad schemes? It doesn't look that because, bad. Because he's trying to throw it back to his furniture row racing days. Um, This is what I'm assuming with the matte black. And he's just sticking the auto owner's like logo all over it it it, if if they are going back to their furniture row racing days it it, yeah you got it right with the all matte black stuff but Mm -hmm. the furniture row logo was just a normal white logo had nothing fancy on it um it they they could have made it at least look like the car you know what does the the other car look like actually i kind of want to know now because they didn't add a a other one i look you wish each um like I guess person had that for their cars. Like it showed like the older version of what they were going for. Yeah. Just so we knew. But I mean I get it why some don't and some do. So, so yeah, if is... that's what they're kind of going at with the with the matte black scheme, um, is who what they'd be throwing it back close to. That now. Yeah. If that's what they're kind of throwing it back with, just a matte black. Yeah. Tell me what y'all they, think. Because I don't then, know. Then they did a bad job. If they're just, like that's the only thing that I could think of that they would be trying that with. Why would you just go matte black and just have you know, auto, unless they're just trying to make it their own auto owner scheme. Other than that, I still give it like a three. It's nothing, three. nothing impressive. To I me. give it like a, I give it like a four, another four or five. Cause not like, I don't think it's bad, but it's just, it's not, it's not up there. I'm still waiting for those, like those fire ones, but I don't know, man. It yeah. seems like we're going downhill. <laughs> uh, you know, we still, we still got a lot of cars. We still this got next a lot of one, cars. This next one is so clean. It is so clean to me. I absolutely, I love this car. This is a, I don't know why it's it's with the white boxes uh, on top of the red with the with the black lettering on it. That it's, does look kind of cool, yeah. It throws it back to Mario Andretti's uh, his first win in F one. Like I said, we're kind of stepping outside of the whole NASCAR realm, which is kind of cool to see. Uh, and obviously, we're another andretti john andretti was honored now mario andretti's being honored which is really cool to see the andretti name who's a very famous racing name you know get honored in, in this capacity um i love this car i this is an easy this is a 8.5 for me give it an 8.5 yeah this is just a really clean car i i like it a lot 
Oh, it I, is, like it the, is really I like the clean. circle around the 22. It is really clean. I don't know. Everything, it just seems like everything was placed perfectly, but I don't know. I don't know if it's, I don't, what did you give it? You said a 7, 8? Eight? 8, 8.5. Give it an 8.5. Almost, almost at the 9 scale, but you know. I'm a, I gotta give it like a 5. I don't know. Like, I really? like it. I like it, but like, it's not like. I just think it's clean. I just it, think it, it's No, it is really clean. clean. I, I agree with that, yeah. So when I when weird. I saw it when that got announced, I saw the picture of it. That was the first thing I noticed. I was like, "Ooh, that's good. That's gonna look super sharp, like in person." High key, yeah. Now that you say that, I bet that shit is gonna look fucking dope on the track. Yeah, that that'll look cool. That's that's my thing with that. That's why I'm giving it so high. I like who they're throwing it back to. Um, yeah, I just I enjoy it. And see, this is nice. more fun to do with somebody else because, like, you get like perspectives like this where, like, you think something's a seven, I think something's a five, I may think something's yeah. a one, you may think something's a nine. It's just it literally is just like everybody's own opinion, which is dope. Yeah. I like getting other people's opinions. So yeah. Oh, 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 oh All right. darn. Hold on. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. That one, that one did it for me. This. Okay, go ahead. So, so this is Bubba Wallace. <laughs> Ooh, it's funny because I didn't even fitting. notice that at first. He is throwing it back to Wendell Scott, who is an African American driver. Um, back in the day for NASCAR. Um, oh, yeah. the first African American winner. Um, in NASCAR. Uh, it's so he. Th there was a scheme ran in was it 2017 it was a 2017 truck race i believe so because that's when he got inducted into the hall of fame mm -hmm. um that they ran and it absolutely just looked phenomenal so this this very much is is trying to replicate the same type of car that he drove with the with the red outline and the, that really like baby blue color that baby um, blue is nice as hell let me send you a picture of Wendell Scott's that. car so you can kind of see for reference. So I wish that. they would have showed more of like a reference for it and what it's kind of going for. And people would kind of understand what they were looking at. Mm -hmm. um, he was known for, you know, working on his own cars and everything. That's why you see mechanic and then the it says me because he did everything. Um, yeah, man, man did it all. He really, I, I really he did everything for his own car. Yeah, I I really like everything that he that Bubba is doing with the scheme. Um, I think it could be a little bit cleaner. Like they could have done more with what his car actually looked like. Um, maybe gone with a little bit more of a darker red. But I get it. If Root Insurance, if that's their color, and yeah, they don't they, want to budge on it, whatever. Yeah, they just if Door if, if now something. DoorDash is one of his sponsors. If they just would have done the DoorDash red, you know that would have looked cool too. Oh, but, yeah, that's um. A yeah, it, it's really cool throwing it back to a Hall of Famer, someone who really deserves more recognition. Um, he he definitely does. Even the old school car looks sick. Yeah, yeah, like, like this he, looks really he cool to me. Definitely deserves more recognition. I like the scheme a lot. I give this a, 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 an eight, easy. Yeah, I was gonna give it like an eight nine. This is probably yeah. gonna be my first first nine. I I don't want to just give shit a ten though. I don't want to be well, biased, a, you know, even though it is there, Bubba Wallace. I would give it a 10. There's, there's a couple coming up that I am absolutely giddy that I'll probably drop the uh, the big two-digit rating on. Oh, shit. Um, there, there's probably about three that I'm ready, that I know that I'm I'm going to throw all the marbles at, that I'm How many more ready. we got? We got, a, we got a good amount. We got a few. We got a few. Yeah, no, hey, no, no, no spoiling. No spoiling. No spoilers. No spoilers. All right. I'll yeah. go back up. I'll go back yeah. up. Let's make yeah. our way back down. Okay, here all we right, go. Here so, we go. So this is William Byron's throwback. It is so easy for the 24 just to throw it back to Jeff Gordon every time. But you don't have to when Vaveline's your sponsor and Neil Bonnet is the driver. This is a Neil Bonnet throwback. It looks fantastic. I, there's this is one of the this is not this is what probably the most clean looking car throwback wise that you'll see this year can it's I, absolutely phenomenal can you find the original the og i really uh, hate that they don't show the ogs because i feel like they should so this is what they're throwing back to neil bonnet wise um you can just see how absolutely oh yeah this looks really it, fucking it's, good it's beautiful I, it's absolutely beautiful to me um, I love that. I love how clean the Valvoline is. Like it's 
Mm. Red, yeah, white, and blue. Yeah, like looks, replica, great on, shit is really looks, nice. looks great on that car. Looks great on that car. I feel yeah. I feel like I'm gonna give this like a like a seven. I give this a nine. I love give it. it. A nine. Oh yeah, I love it. Yo, down in the comments, low key, make me a list. Like everybody who watches this and gets to this part, make a list in the comments for each fucking like car and give it a rating in the comments because I want to <laughs> see what y'all rating these cars too. That shit should be fun. All right, so this next one McDowell. again is Michael McDowell. I'm very biased because this is a really cool scheme. It looks really good. It back to Bill Elliott. Awesome Bill from Dawsonville because this is going, this is literally replicating the same car that he won the Daytona 500 in. The, the, um, the, uh, title sponsor went with the same look of the Coors font. Uh, it, it's beautiful. It is an absolute beautiful car. This is the first 10. What this I will is a 10 say, for me. I love it. What I will say, I haven't noticed this about like, mo probably not even probably most of the damn cars. The wheels on this car is clean as fuck. I, re I don't know oh, why, yeah. but I really just, I don't know if I've even looked at the wheels or like the wheels just like weren't popping for me. But some, this some one, do. This one really just looks good on this car. I'm going to give this, yeah. I'm going to give it like an eight. I like let this game a lot. It really looks really good. Let me show you what we're looking at. So, so you can kind of see what we're, you know, you can see the, the, the similarities to it. Cause it's but, absolutely, I mean, you're, yeah. oof. I love it. This is one of my personal favorites. I give this a 10. This is the the sponsor buying in, you know, and absolutely oh, going wow. all in with it. Yeah, looks looks great. I wish the the picture would be a little bit bigger, but you can right. always can I, can edit I, can that I, to make it. I, I mean, yeah, I, can, right, I could just zoom in. LOL. Yeah, yeah, 100%. But yeah, no, they, this is an absolute beautiful car. I love Bill Elliott. One of my favorites. Um kind of cool that michael mcdowell like how bill or uh, chase elliott's throwing it back to the previous year's champion mm -hmm. um michael mcdowell winning his first race which is the daytona 500 throwing it back to a Do daytona 500 champion being bill elliott That's absolutely dope. love it i love it such a great scheme honorary as fuck i fucks with that that's really cool yeah <laughs> what is this ryan freeze Velveeta. this is this is such an obscure throwback because oh, this is throwing it back to Trent Owens for a 2000. It's showing his 2002 uh, Darlington race. And it's it's crazy that the Velveeta scheme is you see how on the on the truck it's flames and on the Velveeta it's the same thing, but it's cheese. Mmm. Mmm. That's smart. <laughs> Velveeta, that that is and, and it's white it, it's white red and yellow just like the the truck that they're running yep. and it's just so smart that they didn't they took that scheme and they made it their own it's so it's enough you can tell it's a throwback but it's still their own thing so doing the cheese instead of the flames i love it i think it's great i give this one a, a, a solid nine just Very off pure witty. funness of it absolutely love it, it is really fun this one is like this one is kind of different like the the other flames one from earlier yeah I, I feel like that's in the same boat as that one i'm gonna give this one like a like but a it's six cheese it's cheese but like, Mwah. But Mwah. like i mean i don't Chef's know the kiss, yellow dude. man the yellow is just a lot for me oh and then, Chef, i don't know Chef maybe kiss. it's has has Velveeta always been this fucking color red like the logo and shit has it always yeah, been yeah 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 really yeah Felt like it was darker, but I guess I'm tripping. I mean, I don't know. It might be. I don't know. <laughs> so uh, this is Anthony Alfredo, the the pasta man himself. Um, get it because his name's Alfredo. Alfredo. Yeah. 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 Well, that yeah. Another corny, uh, he, corny joke like earlier. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I believe his Twitch is called Pasta Man as well. So not to, not to shout out Anthony Alfredo's Twitch or anything. I but, know. Yeah. Keep keep, keep <laughs> Twitch out there. Um. Um, so this is another throwback to Alan Kowicki. He's gotten a lot of love for this, uh, for this, and it's an absolute throwback to his Hardy's car, and it's it's beautiful. I, this is another one that that definitely deserves it. Freight Auctions goes all in with the with the changing of the font for the logo. Um, yeah, this is another this is an absolute great. You know what's funny? What's up? If I was by myself. 
no cap in my head i read this shit as fr8 auctions <laughs> all right i would have said that shit out loud it looked like a dumbass so i'm really glad you said it out loud and i didn't have to ask <laughs> but i outed myself that's fine that's fine i'm <laughs> <laughs> I, look, man, I, told so you, I, don't, I don't know much about half the sponsors or just cars in general which yeah, is why like i need you, guidance yeah like you look at that and you go okay that's different that's cool i get it but at the same time like do you know that it's supposed to look like you yes. know this yeah that like well actually it's sorry i actually sent you the wrong one but um i'm sorry anyway like i was saying didn't know that it's actually supposed to look like this there you go so you don't have, so you don't have to edit it Motherfucker, ain't that the, i was finna say i was finna say ain't that the same one not nah, finna see your mistake <laughs> it, like, i'm not gonna blame you it does like i can see like they look hella similar yeah, i just I grabbed the first one yeah so um I'll do that again all right anyway so so as you said like it's supposed to look like this <laughs> yeah like this <laughs> like I wasn't gonna keep in that whole clip. <laughs> now I gotta keep in this whole clip, so niggas know we tried it again. <laughs> oh fuck! What do you give? What do you give this one? Um, I like it. I, Alan Kowicki is such a cool figure in NASCAR, and well worth to dive in and actually look at his career and you know what he's done. I I give it a seven. A I seven. I love it. It's really cool to see these old schemes back on the track again. I'm a, I'm gonna give it. I don't know. I'm not gonna. It's kind of reminded me of that Hooters one from earlier with the orange. Yeah, yeah. It definitely looks old. Yeah, it does have that throwback vibe. I'm gonna give it like a. I give it like a five. Okay, okay. Give it like a five. So we, so we got ten more left. I just got ten you. more left. Oh, that's not that bad. Yeah. I'm really low key kind of excited for this next one because like just based off of this little sliver. This isn't a throwback. See, it's not, uh, but I no. hope it looks cool. This is a happy Mother's Day car from Gene Haas's mother. That's sick. I yeah. fucks with this. But the, but the floral stuff on it looks really cool. It's got nice. a note on it, you know, on the side. Got a picture of his mom. It looks really nice. Yo, shout out to all the moms out there. Where your mom at, nigga? Where your, where your mom at? Go, go find your mom and tell her you love her. Where your mom at? Mm. Mom, man, man. Yeah. Ma, I love you. <laughs> Ma, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Now, I really like this. this uh, I like this one a lot. This one's probably like a nine for me. Really? And it's yeah. like the throwback. It's not, but it just looks yeah. really good. I just like the way it looks. It, it's really comic booky to me. Like it because just, it's not a throwback, I'm just giving it a five just to kind of throw fair. it in the middle. Just because it's not a throwback. No, I get that. I get that. It just looks like I said, it yeah. just looks really comic booky to me, at least from like afar. Like it just yeah. it just pops like a comic book style. Yeah. What the fuck so this is this? Next one is Ross Chastain, the the watermelon man himself. Um, Ross Chastain, Ross, Ross Chastain was a watermelon farmer before becoming a NASCAR driver. Are you why, serious? Yeah, which is why he's got a watermelon picture right there. Oh, um, that's dope. So this is throwing it back to Hutch Strickland's '93 car, which for some reason I had a diecast of this when I was a kid growing up. I have no idea how I got this, you still why it? I had it. Uh, it's probably somewhere. I've got a whole box of just small, tiny diecasts, like the the 164th. Um, I've got hundreds of those. Yeah, one, like one you have a lot. I'll, yeah, one day I'll bring them out. I'll, I'll show you to them. But yeah. you know, this is uh, this is a throwback to his his ride. It's a McDonald's scheme. They went cool with the, you know, the number looks the same, you know, with the same font and everything. Um, McDonald's. Yeah. I mean, I, I was looking at it and then all I could think of is I've ate a lot of McDonald's this past week and low key, this fucking symbol sickens me right now. They, they, they don't have the white, the white <laughs> square around the M on the, on the hood, which I'm like, man, just a, the small features, the small it's thing. Funny it's funny because I wasn't, I didn't even notice that. It really is the small details that people really be paying attention to. I mean, it's a cool throwback, though. It looks really cool. But, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. just McDonald's, so I can't yeah. really say much about it. I give it, like, a four. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I give it a four. Yeah. It's, it's McDonald's. It's cool. McDonald's. <laughs> this looks really sick. I like this so, one. So, the cool thing with Eric Jones and, like, Bubba and, you know, other drivers of Richard Petty Motorsports back in the day, like, you always have that option to throw it back to 
Richard Petty. Mm-hmm. Really easy to throw back to Richard Petty. But with this, we get another John Andretti scheme. Um, obviously, paying tribute to a legendary race car driver. Um, it, it's really nice to see the the STP back on the back on the hood is really cool. I love it. It's it's simple. But what is the STP? Well, it's Richard Petty's. Um, it's the logo that's always been on Richard Petty's cars. Uh, STP oil. Okay. Um, yeah, and so it's always been on you know the hood of his cars. Uh, there was a little bit of a time when you know you had different you know sponsorships and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, right now Richard Petty Motorsports is kind of hurting for um, hurting for sponsorships, so you don't typically see a um, lot on there. At, yeah, there's not really a lot going on it. You know, um, there was a time back in the early 2000s that like pop secret um popcorn was always on it and stuff like that those are those are the schemes that i really remember with like the really bad drivers of richard petty (laughs) the really bad ones yeah 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 (laughs) always always remember seeing you know the them lower tier drivers somehow getting the the legendary 43 and then wreck it it, you know oh damn uh, yeah it'd be bad it'd be bad yeah i'm gonna give this like an eight or a nine i really like this game this so, is nice. On, really? Because I'm giving this... Can can I give a negative rating? Yes, you can. I'm giving this a negative one. I'm telling I you I only right like now. it because of the gradient. I just like how it goes from the blue to the orange to the yellow to the white. Yeah. That's the only reason I really like, like it. So this is attempting, and I say attempting very loosely, to emulate the iconic Tide Ride driven by Rick and, Ricky Craven. Um, it looks nothing like it. It's nothing like it. If that's what it, they're trying yeah, to, yeah, it's nothing to. at all. It's not. It's it not the same. Tight on it. Yeah, but it's re- it's Recky Spinhouse, dude. That's that's you know he's gonna wreck at some point. I'm I feel assuming. like they were going for like a modern day throwback to it. No, like they were it trying to like me. change it. But <laughs> in, in <laughs> that fact, I, dude, what's what's your rating? What's your rating? I give it like a I give it like a six or a seven. All right, cool. Scroll down. Get this out of my face. I'm done. This is like, dude, I love rig- it. This should be a shame, dude. For real, I'm I'm upset. No, I'm gonna um, just, I'm gonna just leave a little bit at the top, <laughs> just just so you can see it still. <laughs> so this is actually really cool to me. This is Alex Bowman's um, throwback to actually his crew chief, Greg Ives. Who, um, who, if you're a crew chief or a spot or anything like that, if you're involved in NASCAR in any, you know, capacity of like that, mm-hmm. chances are you used to be a, a racer. Um, you know, like Richard Childress being an owner, you know, was once a, the, the driver of the number three car before Dale Earnhardt. You know, he gave Dale Earnhardt the number three because it was his number, mm-hmm. you know, um, so Greg Ives being a crew chief and run, he used to run late models. This is a throwback to Greg Ives scheme honoring him um, and him being Bowman's crew chief. I think it's cool. It's really plain. Ally can do a lot of cool things with their logo. I'm glad that, you know, they have just a normal base like logo, just the white Ally letters. A lot of people's late model schemes, um, you couldn't have a lot of flashy stuff on it. There's not mm-hmm. enough room to make it, you know, flashy. Yeah. I give it like a like a five, five six. Yeah, yeah. I'd get I'd give it a six. Six okay. is good. Six is good. So this is one that I actually have not seen yet. Hmm. Um, you can kind of see what it's thrown back to, uh, in the top left of it. Uh, it's thrown back to Daryl Waltrip's uh Superflow scheme, um, in the ninety or nineteen okay. nineties, I should say. That's um, really small. Yeah, yeah. I see what it's doing. Um. Obviously, Nurtech ODT did not want to, you know, change their color scheme or anything like that. Um, because you could see at the bottom of Daryl Waltrip's car in the top, I don't left, think the it's, color it's scheme is yellow. bad. I just, I don't know, something about how the placement of all of this advertisement is really just yeah. throwing me off. Like, it doesn't look, it, it almost oh, looks yeah. like a fucking fake car. I'm, I'm well, not gonna lie. Well, what I'm saying is, is that you know, you guys took. They took the initial scheme, the paint yeah. scheme, and they made it the same, but they changed the coloring in it. So it looks a little weird. It looks off. I know what you're trying to do, and I understand mm-hmm. that, but because you wouldn't buy in with the same colors, I really, yeah. Yeah, it just kind of throws you off. Why would they? I mean, I understand y'all the sponsors, but did they really need to add that to the car? Sure, sure. Man, I'm dropping you know this bitch to a four. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's just move on. What is so, this? All right, before you say anything, I am giving. Can I give the? I, I gave a negative rating to Stenhouse. Can I give an overly positive rating? Can I give? Can I give an over? <laughs> yes. This this right here is is a is a this is a thirteen point five nine. The the price of a Whopper meal at Burger King. And um, why is that? Explain. I want your reason. Because this is the coolest, one of the coolest schemes. There is something about companies buying in completely, like I said. And this is a Lenny Pond scheme, a Burger King scheme. If you can tell, it's not Burger King. It's, it's Insurance King. King. Yeah. Insurance King. Best darn a, rates. And on the quarter panel of the car, you'll see best darn burgers completely buying in putting lenny pond's name okay. on the car changing changing the font of the car but in, most importantly when you buy into the logo like this i get so geeked about this i this is this is a a masterpiece it is so simple but it's a masterpiece i'll a, give this a for the collab and based off of the old school like the og yeah, because it does look really good, and I like the collab that they did with it. With the new, yeah. I, I'm gonna give it like a like a seven eight. I there's just something about this, and I feel so bad because Josh Balicki is gonna spend the whole entire race in the back as well. Oh um, fuck! Yeah, hey, yeah, it'll yeah. it'll let you get some good pictures of it solo. Yeah, but I'm gonna let you know right now. This is God. This is one of the coolest schemes. Too. I love it. I would and not think this was the one like you would be hyped hyped about. I'm geeking out about it just by changing it because when you buy into the sponsorship and you buy into the throwback, it lets you really explore. That is identical to that. That is seeing this Lenny Pond scheme in, in 2021. And that is absolutely just fascinating to me that, that a, that a company would just buy in that hard. You know, I definitely overhyped the the um, rating on it just because I absolutely love it that much. It's really not my favorite scheme of the weekend, but I, I rating wise, oh, I'm up there. Give it that. It's most yeah, definitely yeah. up there. Here's another Mother's Day scheme. Yep, yep. So this is actually Justin Haley who will also spend the whole race in the back, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, Spire Motorsports kind of sucks. Um, but so they're honoring Robert Presley's scheme um there, it's kind of a weird mix of of robert presley's scheme and like a mother's day thing mm. along with just the fraternal order of eagles just chilling on it for yeah i don't this is it's kind of weird doesn't do a whole lot for me it's cool because it, it's it's identical to the, the to the scheme he ran with the uh the purple the yellow and the uh red mm. but same time doesn't really do much for me I wait I this give it is purple i mean yeah i guess this is kind of purple it, it's, I, it's, I was gonna say this shit is like a dark blue but now nah, this is more definitely purple now that i like really really fucking sat here and looked at this shit that shit is i'm purple. glad you did dude <laughs> <laughs> nah because dead ass i looked at it for a while and i was like oh this is like a really dark blue like no cap yeah, like this looked yeah. like a dark blue to me and then i really just was like oh shit yeah. so yeah i mean it's, it's cool it's got the same they got the same number you know so i give I, it you know i I give it like a like a like a like a like a three. Yeah, yeah, like it's nothing. Three. Yeah, it's nothing, nothing crazy. Too it high. just seems too like I don't know. It Loki kind of seems random. Yeah, like with, yeah. with like the just like the Mother's Day thing and then the Eagles thing, like you said, like it just it is. Yeah, it's like a combination of just a lot of stuff. Yeah, they uh, they tried to do something and I don't think they landed it. So. This Jeez. looks pretty interesting though. So, yeah, so this is a throwback to Joe Weatherly's, um, actually his last win at Darlington in 1963, as it says at the bottom. Um, this is going to be driven by BJ McLeod, who will spend the whole entire race in the back as well. Damn, but, I'm sorry for yeah, all you motherfuckers in the back. Cause... Yeah, yeah. It is really cool to see this scheme, though. I love how they, they bought into the... Uh, to the number if you look at the hood you know they 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 have the uh the the cubic engine on it um it, it, it's cool to see that that's an old school thing that they don't do anymore um yeah it's it's cool it's a cool throwback i like it i'd give it a it's a five it's a solid, solid it's a car. five honestly yeah. i don't even know what to give this one either i don't know it, i don't know Maybe it's nice I've to been... see joe weatherly get you know some some you know some recognition. recognition yeah i give it it's another uh, guy he, he passed away in a in a in a race like during a race so. oh wow 
Yeah. Oh, that that shit has to just be so like just in the moment. Like I wouldn't even know what to like think. Like if I was like there for like a race like that where like something yeah. like happened. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I can't imagine what people thought, you know, in 2001 at the Daytona 500 when, yeah, you know, it's just everyone like, just kind of thought it was a normal wreck. And, you know, it is what it is. Or like when uh, I was watching the TV live when um, Dan Weldon passed in a uh, in a IndyCar race. Oh, wow. See, it's just like I don't, I, I've never experienced something where like I'm watching something live and it's just like, oh, yeah, like they, they that wreck. Away that wreck so Earnhardt's I actually remember where I where I was at when Earnhardt wrecked was I was at a, a roller skating uh place and I stopped because I watched it and I was like oh it's the end of the race blah 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 and I ended up watching it and I was just like oh you know and I get home and my dad is you know in tears and I was like what in the world and then I remember being in my basement watching the IndyCar race and Dan Weldon hit hit the when he hit the catch fence when he got shot up in the air that moment I was just like I think he just died like I literally was like I'm pretty sure you know wow he's gone yeah and like I felt sick like it was like oh this isn't good probably about 30 minutes later they announced that he did pass away and they ended the race right there that was it they did a really nice salute you know what uh I think it was a five lap salute or something. Mm -hmm. They had everyone go around, you know, all the cars that were remaining. And then like in 2020, when Ryan Newman wrecked, like I, I was like, oh man, like that's bad. Like, uh, hold on before. Is there like, there's one more car left right after this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we'll do this last car and then I'll ask my question. Cause I want to, I have a question gotcha. for about like the people that have passed like during races, but before we get into yeah. that, let's, let's, let's get into this last car real fast. So this is going to be Daniel Suarez's car. This isn't throwing back to anything except for Camping World alone. It's got the old school looking Camping World uh, logo on it. I'm going to be really so real cool. with you. Almost for sure thought it was like a fucking Willy Wonka collab. Because like it has, like it just has that Willy Wonka-esque yeah, font. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> not throwing it back to anything. It's it, If anything, it's throwing it back to uh, Marcus Limonis who... Uh, is trying to be the savior of the truck series and seem to be the savior of uh of north Wilkesboro as well at least trying to mm -hmm. um which is the speedway out in north carolina that fans have been begging you know for nascar to dump money in so they can make it you know raceable again um but yeah people have been telling me to look out for daniel suarez too yeah, I, i've been keeping an eye on yeah, it yeah track house racing is a brand new team just like how you know um um 2311 racing is so that you don't expect too much from them from either mm -hmm. team actually you know this year uh look for them to kind of he ran well at bristol dirt um give it give him a year though yeah like, so like he, you know he, he'll need a year he's a lesson foundation year. yeah 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 but i like the scheme um I would, I would it? give it a, i'd give it a six give i like it a it. six I think I give this one like a like a seven just for like the wonkiness of it. Like it really reminds me of like some like Willy Wonka type Willow shit. Wonkies. Yeah, bro. Like it just like the color too. Like it, it looks really it looks really crazy. Yeah, yeah. But I'm fucking with it. We really just ran through that. It feels it doesn't even feel like we've been here for an hour. Yeah, these are the ones I'm I, fucking with the most. If I had to go with top five in no particular order, well, I'll go in order of car number because I'm scrolling down. I'll go ahead. I would say Ch Chase Elliott's number nine. Of I course. love it. Um. Joey Logano's 22. Uh, William Byron's 24. Uh, McDowell's 34. And you know I got to give it to Josh Balicki's 52. 52. Oh, let me, let me scroll down. There we go. Yeah, the fucking yeah. insurance yeah. king. <laughs> you and this fucking I insurance king. I love it. <laughs> these are really fucking fire. Like, I can't wait to fucking see these. For real. Um, oh wait, this is. Oh wait, no, I lied. This wasn't even top five, so it yeah, been top five. No, that was from cool, last though. year. Yeah, that's cool. But these, yeah, this, these two. You know, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to do it in order too. Bubba's up top. Uh, who whose fucking scheme was this? Corey LaJoy. Corey LaJoy is second. I really like this one. I don't know something about just the gradient. Like it just looks nice. I'm. Yeah, I'm yeah. a. I'm a fucking sucker for gradients. I guess. I don't hey, know. That's. Um, Austin, Dillon's. Austin Dillon's, yeah, I don't know. The gold and black is just super fucking clean. The oh, yeah. this has the wheels too. The wheels are nice as fuck on this as well. Yeah. And then this is just this is just gives me comic book vibes. Is, isn't that only four? 
Yeah, it's only four, but I mean, like, like, a, if, you, like a, if you had to go five, my fifth, my fifth would have to be. Not that one. You say, you say that one, dude. We're done being friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to troll you, but I'm not. Nah, it'd, pro it'd probably be his. Eric it'd Jones. Probably, yeah, Eric Jones. Yeah. Because yeah. this, I don't know. It's, I, I, I like orange and blue together. Like light blue. It's just like a dope color. It's a screen. nice tribute too. Yeah. So yeah, those are my top. Hold up, these are my top five guys. Let me just run through them one more time for y'all in fucking order. Yeah. Yeah. This is probably the order going. Oh, so just Baba, Baba at one. That's your yep. top one. Corey Legit Joy number two. Yerp. Austin Dillon number three, fitting because he drives number three. Uh, Eric Jones fourth, and Cole Custer's number forty-one Mother's Day scheme. I can't so wait to like see these on the track for real. I think that'll look nice on the track. Really? Like honestly, I think that's gonna be like the like the craziest one on the track for me is like just saying this. Yeah, what, ha yeah, I'm with you on that. what happens to like okay okay i know this is finna sound really fucking stupid what the fuck happened to the schemes like after they're like done like do they just fucking go over them or like do they so, just take them off or what so the for some teams well for all the teams it's a wrap right it's okay. it's one of those uh like heat gun like oh and um, then they like melted on kind of thing but like yeah, yeah okay so what you can do is is you can so for some teams like spire motorsports who might not have just a body ready for next week or anything like that, they might have to clear that completely off and put a different wrap on. But for the big teams like Kendrick Motorsports, who can afford to buy a brand new body, they'll chop it up and they'll sell it. They'll sell pieces of the car. Wow, um, that's sick. My, my goal that I really want is like a chase bumper, a front bumper that I can hang on my wall. Really pricey though. How much is that? Super pricey. So, some can get up to like fifteen hundred bucks. Fuck, so the, okay, so that wasn't a dumb question because they do do things no. with this. Afterwards. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, some some teams keep their the body intact. Um, some people sell out parts of it. Um, yeah, it's it's tough to see with what teams will do what with you know. I would imagine that teams like Spire Motorsports, unfortunately, might just have to burn that. Uh, burn that cool looking seven car that you like so much just off and then repurpose it for another race if it doesn't get tore up you know wait i want to there we go i just wanted to just okay yeah. cool i hope um, that dude that car is gonna look great in the wall man for real, <laughs> for real. okay that, that whole that whole right side of the car is just gonna be scraped up just scraped. my other oh. question though do they have are there like tribute races like to where they like recognize like all of the people that have passed in like 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 races that have happened you mean in the like past? A, you, you mean like a full race dedicated to yeah to like remembering race? them or anything like that i feel like um, they should or like maybe I, just, I don't know they haven't done like a full race like dedicated to one drive like it's not like there's never been called like the, the well no 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 not one drive i mean just like all of them as like a collective just for like the people that have lost their lives and like no that'd, that'd be racing. really cool though they I'd should really, though it's they're small little more personal um things that they do mm. like in 2001 when dale earnhardt passed on the third lap everyone held up the number three you know yeah the three fingers you know stuff like that so okay, um, it's just like little stuff to, to cars recognize. cars show tribute like when um you know i'm trying when kenny Irwin died you know they put the the car a sticker of the car number you know where like it, you're looking at uh ricky stenhouse's car you see where the kroger is on that panel right next to the uh to the net on the oh, right side that? on oh on so the, literally right here yeah on the panel next to the net oh yeah i see it yeah, they might put like the car number there, like number twenty-eight or something. Like when Davy Allison died, they put twenty-eight there, you know. Okay. You know stuff like that, stuff like that. So they do they do little things for each driver that's passed away um, in their own right. But as of dedicating like a full race, like the in memoriam four hundred at you know yeah. Kansas or something. No, they've not done anything like okay. that. Okay. Well, yeah, I, it was just a question. You know, I just popped. Yeah, in my I would head. actually like to see something like that. That would actually be really cool. 
Hey, um, if y'all like, like that. if y'all agree, let me know down in the comments because like I'm I want to hear all the feedback from this because I'm sure there will be a lot uh based off of the ratings I gave and some of uh some of the responses that were given from Kyle. <laughs> But oh I hope you guys enjoyed us going through and giving our rating for the schemes for tomorrow's race. Uh, it should be up before the race is out. But yeah, like the video, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see y'all next one. I love y'all. Peace. They want to fall away. Back when I was down bad, I was stuck in the mud. Now nigga didn't clean up Louis V on the so-so. Always